Okay, gang, thanks for dropping in to Crafts Hawaii. This evening, I want you to learn the do this method. Okay, this is all about do this. And I'm going to show you how to do what I mean. Okay, so please pay attention. Um, and hopefully, you learn something and you'll enjoy the video. So I'll be right back at the table. Okay, gang, we're at the table. So let's do this. We're starting with two hundred and twenty dollars. We got a thousand dollar bankroll, and we're going to try and get our money back before we start pressing. We don't want to get caught with a quick seven out. And if you start pressing, and then get a quick seven out, you're not going to get any of your money back. So the whole purpose is to do what I'm telling you, so that we can get our money back. And then we can start pressing. And we're going to do this by doing a same bet or same bet and depress to stay alive. Dice out. One, four, five. Marking the point. One, four, five. Okay, so we need at least two hits, maybe three. To get it back at least half of our money. It depends on what numbers are getting thrown. Dice out. Five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Okay, so that's seventy dollars. Sixty pay seventy. Okay, and if you tend to press this up to ninety and you get caught. Then you're going to lose that. So we're going to take our $70. Okay? We're going to take $70 out of our, our uh, initial investment of $220. Okay? Dice out. $156. One five six. That's another seventy dollars. Okay, so because we're taking our money right now, we got a hundred and forty. Two times we took from the seventy, right? Six and eight. So that's a hundred and forty dollars. We started with two twenty, we're in the game for eighty bucks. Dice out. 426. Another $70. So we took back $70 three times on that 210. So now we're in the game for $10. Of course, we could have pressed and you would have said, yeah, we're hitting 100, 105, 105. Yeah, on this row. But you could have caught a seven also. So better to get your money back as fast as you can. So let's do this. One, three, four. Okay, so now, because we're in the game only for 20 bucks, we'll start to press. So that pays us $27. We're going to take that. We're going to jump up to 75. 75 on our five. Five four nine. Five four nine. Okay, so that pays fifty for one. And now we can press this up to seventy five. Take back another quarter. So we covered with our twenty dollars that we're back and not fully covered with our initial investment. But now we're up, I think, about five bucks. Four, three, seven. Okay, so that's my whole point here. If you started pressing, if we started pressing from the very beginning, we could have got caught or we could have taken maybe once or twice and then seven out 
and the profit is back up here on the table. And that's not what we want. We need to get our money back first. Many of us know that, oh, I'd like to press so that I can get collect bigger money, right? Everybody wants to do that. But the problem with that is if that seven comes, then all that pressing was for nothing. Okay, so let's just check it out. 100. 200. 10, 20. So we made $15, which is better than making nothing, you see? So our money is still back here, 220. And yeah, it's a small win, but it is a win. And it's better than getting caught with a fast seven out. Because it's always easy to say, well, if you did this, if you did that, but that's all after the fact, right? Dice out. Aces. Anybody can bet after the fact. But when you're in the game, you got to know what to do. And like I said, take your money back, same bet, or start to play Staying Alive. 538 is the point. Dice out. Four, three, seven. See, so right there, no chance to press, no chance to get back any money. But it's not like it was our fault. We didn't have a chance. Okay, so 220. And this can be done with any amount of money that you wanted to put out here. You could have 66, 44, whatever you want. Take your money back first, okay? 220. Okay, dice out. 516. Six the point. Dice out. Four, two, six, right back. Okay, so $70. We're not pressing. We're taking the guarantee win. There's always a lot of time to press. The main thing is get your start money back. And that's why I'm saying let's do this. What you see I'm doing is what you should do. Once you make your money back, yeah, go ahead. Press as you want, press and take. Three, two, five. Three, two, five. Dice out. Five right back. Four, one, five. So that's 50 for one. And we're going to take that. So now we took back 120, win the game for 20 bu uh, 100 bucks, right? Dice out. Oh, three, seven. Just imagine if we didn't make that point and we're pressing, and that next hit would have been seven, we would have lost everything. At least now we got back 120. We're only in the game for $100 with a potential to make more money. Dice out. 
Dice out. One, three, four. One, three, four. And that's only $27. And we could press it, but don't want to because I want to take the money. Get back more money. Dice out. Hard six. Hard six. Okay, so hard six pays us seventy dollars. Okay, what we got? One seventy five. 215 so now we're in the game for five dollars now if you wanted to take all this depress this down that's all profit right we got our money back except for five dollars so now if we have a chance to press we'll be doing some pressing six four ten Six four ten. Twenty seven dollar win. So we're gonna press the five and nine. Well, actually the nine to seventy five. Dice out. Five four nine right back. Okay, so that's a hundred and five dollars. So now that's a lot of profit, right? So if we wanted to, we could take back some more money. But we're gonna take our chance. Now it's our turn to make some money. We got back our original. Four two six. Four two six. It's another seventy dollars if you wanted to take it, but because I already got my money back and got some profit, we're gonna press. Now, if you like press, that's fine, because you got your money back already. Don't risk your money trying to press up because the dice—you <laughs> never know what's gonna happen. Five one six. Five one six. So that's a hundred and five. And what we can do now is we go down to sixty. And take back some more more money. Okay. That's why I said don't worry. No need to rush it up there and Press, press from the beginning. Hard 10. Get your money back. I always preach, stay alive. Right now, we're not playing staying alive. All we're doing is same bet. Right? Same bet. And because we're same betting, that leaves us more money on the table so then once we get our money back, easier for us to press. Dice out. Five, two, seven. Okay, so now you saw I took same bet, same bet, same bet, get our money, and then press, and then take the win and depress in the staying alive. Okay, so that's why we're making good money that way, okay? So, take your money back. So I say, let's do this, right? Let's do this. 
let's do getting our money back. Okay, so we started with 220, 200, 220, back to the house to set us up. Fifty, one hundred, $275 profit. Okay, so we still made money even though we're taking back our money first before pressing. Get your money back first. Okay, don't worry about, oh, I need to press it up faster so I can get there faster. I don't care how fast you press, the, the dice still got to roll your way. And if it's only rolling two or three rows and you're pressing instead of taking, then that's not the right way to play it. Six, three, nine. Because the dice could hit a four, that's one, one hit. Then come back and hit a nine, that's another hit. Come back, hit a six, that's another hit. And you're pressing, pressing, pressing. And then come back, hit a five and then a seven. What did you win? All the money you pressed was your wins that should have been in your tray. Okay, so remember to take your money first. Don't build the, the bank up out there on the box numbers for the house. Take your share first. Remember that. 538. Five three eight, so that's seventy dollars. That's one hit. Eight. It's all about get mine first. Get mine first. Keep that in your head. Get mine first. Aces. Even if the dice would seven out right here, you got seventy dollars in your rack. And if you can put out two twenty, it's gonna be less seventy dollars. Dice out. Three two five. Three to five, three to five. Fifty for one. Okay, so now we got a hundred and twenty. We're in the game for a hundred dollars. Not too bad for the kind of money you're playing. Right, so let's do this. Let's get our portion of the money. Dice out. Hard for. Hard for. Okay, so that's twenty-seven dollars. So, like I said, once you get at least half of your money back, the table seems to be rolling well. Then maybe you you want to take a chance and press one side up, or press something up. So now we're at seventy-five. Dice out. Five, four, nine, winner. Five, four, nine, winner. Okay, four hits. Fifty for one. And we're going to take that. We'll take that fifty for one. So we now took back $170. Okay, 170. So we're only in the game for fifty dollars. Okay, and we didn't take any money here. We pressed it up. So three hits that we collected. That's how much money we took back. 170. So we're in the game for what fifty dollars. Dice out. Six two eight. Six to eight. 
this out. One, four, five. One, four, five. Okay, so what did we do? We're going to collect 105. We're ahead of the game, right? We could press, but that's $105. Why should I press? What if a seven comes? I'm going to feel like, oh, I should have took that $100, right? So let's take it when it's already ours. We want it. Take it. We can always press. The next time we hit a point... Five one six. Five one six. Okay, so now seventy dollars. Now we're gonna press. Now if the seven comes, not that I like it, but if it does come, I already got some profit. If it doesn't come, I'm gonna make more money yet. Okay, and the casinos, they don't really like that because you're already in the winnings. You're playing with their money. One, three, four. Okay, and don't forget the money we already made. And this is profit, right? We're in the game. What they said for 50 bucks, but not even. I think we got our, all our money back yet. Yeah? We got 250, 60. 70, 80, 85 dollars. So that is all profit. So if you want to take some down off of that, go ahead. The money's there. Dice out. 639. 639. 54.1. You can take some more profit or you can press it up. Totally up to you. Okay, I'm going to press that up. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take $25 more profit. Press that up. Dice out. Five, two, seven. Okay, we all know this seven is going to come sooner or later. But we got our share using house money, although that's our profit, house money to try and make more money. Okay, we could have depressed it and take back some more money, but we didn't, right? We took a chance. And we're, we're, it was all right for us to take a chance because we took our money. Okay, so $220. Okay, so we made $90 profit by doing that. And like I said, we took a chance, but we could have took it down. And let's see if, we, if that happens, but we're still playing with house money. Right, we got our money. Okay, let's see. Dice out. Four, three, seven. Dice out. Three, two, five. Point is five. Dice out. Hard six. Seventy dollars. Six. Okay, 
nice out. 628. 628. Another $78. That's 140 we took back. In the game for 80 bucks. Dice out. Six three nine. I think the last point was an eight. Now it's a nine. So okay, we're in the game for eighty. There's things with we can do. Point is nine fifty for one. Okay, so we're still in the game for thirty because we're only getting back fifty, right? But if you want to make that money up right now, we'll just take this and now staying alive. Taking back another 60. So we got all our money back already. And all that is profit. So we can even come down lower depending on the table limit. Table minimum limit, right? Dice out. Heart eight. Heart eight pays now. Thirty-five. Can take this profit. We can press up. Give a dollar over here. Make it sixty-six dollars. And if we get lucky enough, I'll show you why I press up to sixty-six. Dice out. One, three, four. One, three, four. Okay, so that's twenty-seven dollars. And because I got some money, I'm gonna press this up, put a dollar there, take ten dollars here, because we're making money, right? So. I'm not marking the numbers anymore because I got what I needed to get my my money back, to get our money back. Dice out. Five, three, eight. Okay, as I said, I had a reason to press it up to 66. And that reason is if I give $7, power press that eight because we got 66 that pays 77 dollars and 66 and 77 is 143 plus seven dollars makes it 150 right so we can press up to 150 all this goes back to the house so they clean up this mess and just take us to 150 And that's why I just wanted to show you that that press. Of course, that's our money. We can take it down if you wanted to. Dice out. Six to eight. We didn't take it down. We pressed it up. We took a chance because we got our money back. Six to eight. Pays 175 on a 158. Okay, so 175. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this, we're going to take this, we're going to go back to 60, so let's see, $66, get some change, I don't want to use this one, so go back to $66. This is our money. This is our money. Six to eight. Dice out. Ace deuce. Dice out. 
Ace is bad toss. Bad toss. Hit the chips. Dice out. Four two six. Four two six. We can do the same thing as we did before, or we can just take seventy seven dollars, which is what I'm gonna take. Dice out. Four two six. That would have paid us another one seventy five. Okay, so let's say we get we get paid seventy seven dollars. Okay, we can press up by giving seven dollars, but I'm just gonna press up. I know the five and nine not really coming, but I'm gonna just show you that we can press up by doing this. We don't have to keep pressing the six and eight, right? Now already we're at seventy five. We hit that. We take in. A hundred and five dollars. Dice out. Ace deuce. I know the time running kind of long, longer than I wanted to run. So I'm trying to rush through the throws. Dice out. One, three, four. Could take it all down and just play a minimum bit. Dice out. Six four ten. Uh, I don't really like what the dice is doing. Running outside, running outside. And we're not collecting. We should collect on every roll. Dice out. Five three eight. Five three eight. Okay, so just for fun, we're gonna press it up. Give seven dollars. Go to one fifty. And that's a lot of money. So, like I said, if you were in the casino, you could take it down. Nice out. Aces. Dice out. There it is, five two seven. Okay, so yeah, we could have pressed it up a lot faster and more and whatever, but that's not the purpose of the video purpose of the video is showing you to do this, which is pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. I mean, tonight was lucky. The, the rose was going our way. So yeah, we looked like we should have been pressing it up, but there are going to be days that the seven is going to come a lot quicker and you're not going to be able to press it back up. So take your share first. Okay, so we started with a thousand dollars. So let's see what we got. Okay, so this is our thousand right here, these two greens. I don't know if this was mine or not, but anyway, that's just five dollars. Okay, so we got 100, 200, 300, 400, 55. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with this. 55 plus 20. So 75. So 400, $575 profit. Okay, so that was our profit. Uh, we could have took down a lot more profit if we wanted to. But anyway, 
think about what I'm saying. Do this first, okay? This table was exceptionally good tonight, but in the casinos, if you can get back two, three hits of your original bet, even if you get back half of your money, at least when the seven comes, you don't have to put out the whole amount again, okay? So do this. Exactly what I said, do this so that you can always have money back in your bank. If the seven comes, you have money, the original bet to put back out and some winnings, okay? So we'll see you next time. Please take care, stay safe, and play to stay alive, okay? Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, gang. Well, you saw what we need to do when you're at the table. Take your money first. That's why I call this the do this. Follow what I said. Do what I said. And you should survive this game. You're either going to lose a little money or win a lot of money. Or even if you win just a little money, it's better than losing. Take your money first, okay? Take your money first. Don't let the house take the money before you get your share. And as you've seen, even if you didn't get all of your money, at least if you have to put that money back out when the seven comes, it's not going to be the whole amount. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave a thumbs up and some comments, okay? I always appreciate your support. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next video.